In this video, I'll share with you how to create this hero section using light, dark, and also another kind of colors using color variables. You will see that it's really, really easy after you watch this video. If you want to follow along with this template, you may find the link in the description to have access to this file. The first thing to do is to create our color variables to set for the light mode and also for the dark mode. And for that, I've created already here a sheet that you can use to create your local variables and having already here the names so that you can have a kind of a guidance. And for the purpose of this tutorial, this will be very helpful. Let's go here to local variables to open this window and we can rename here the collection to color modes and we start to create our color variable. And the first one, we can start with the title. So title and here using the high dropper tool or the color picker, you can click here and we want the title to be black. So let's also change here the value to light mode. So this column will represent the colors for the light mode. Then we have a new co color variable that we can call it title highlight. And this will be our blue here of actional insights. And we can pick the color from here or directly from our text. I created here because here for this little, for this small text, I think it's better. Then you can create another one for text and so on and so forth. So this can take up a little bit of time. So take your time. Here is the button background. Let's put it blue. Then button text. And at last the background that will be this kind of grayish, it's not 100% white. Okay, so we have settled here the light mode, then here you see this plus, we will have another color mode and it will be the dark mode. And let me increase this window so that you can see the differences between light and dark mode. You can move around with this uh, window. Okay. But as you can see, it duplicated the colors that you have from the light mode. But here, what we want is the different colors. So uh, how the colors will adapt for the dark mode. And our background will be black. So you can go directly here instead of this white. You can pick this background fill or this one. Then let's change here the title the title highlight, let's make this purple, the text, instead of black it will be white, the button background, and here the button text. And that's it. After you set your color variables, you need to match here in your frame what it represents, because right now if I select this text, it has this fill color that maybe it can be the same color as it is here. But if I then change our variables, it will not do anything here. And you don't need to do this everywhere. And you will see in a moment why I will not match all variables into multiple mockups. Otherwise, if you have 10 different color modes, it will take a lot of time, but you will see that in a moment. So let's start with the light mode. And for those ones, I know that they, the color of these ones will be the text. So I will change here the fill, go to libraries and call it text. Then here I need to select manually this color. So instead of this I will, I want this field to be the title, this one also, it will be the title and the blue part, I will switch this 
to title highlight. Then here in the buttons, I can select both. So I'm using shift to select both. And the fill, instead of this blue, I want the button background, is the same, but I'm just matching the variable. So it's easy to replace afterwards. And here this black, it's regarding the text. So I will change to button text. One more thing, just select the wall frame and we have here the fill color that we also want to change for the background color. Now, if I click here in our frame and go here to appearance, you have this icon, apply color variable mode. And if I click here, I have here my light mode, my dark mode. And as you can see, it directly updates from light mode to dark mode and I will leave it auto and let's create here a new frame. So let me delete this one and keep this one because it's where we matched all the layers to our color variables. And let's create here a new playground, something like this. And this frame will be the light mode playground. And here in the fill, let's add a new color library. So let's call it color mode. And let's make it like this and create this variable. And let's create another frame here down below that will be our dark mode playground and the color mode can change. So here, if we go, if we click outside in our canvas and go to local variables, what we just did, it, it was to create a new variable, a uh, color variable called color mode. And here on the dark mode, I want it to be a little bit darker so that we can differentiate from one to another. And if I select here and go to appearance, instead of being auto, that's why I didn't update. I want to set this as dark and this one, let's do the same thing. By default, it's light, but let's change this to light mode. And then if I select my instance of this hero section and move it inside of the light playground, here it's light. And if I move it down below, it's dark. How cool is this? Then let's say you want to create even more colors. Do you want me to test that? For example, uh, let me duplicate here another new column. So this is already a bonus information about this tutorial. So if you are enjoying this tutorial, please leave a comment down below here in this video because it will let me know if I'm really helping you with these kind of tutorials. Okay, so let's say that uh, instead of a dark mode, we want now a blue mode. And here, what will happen is that instead of our background fill be this black, I want to be that blue. Then our background buttons and title highlights will be black. So let's color pick this. The button text white and the title and text white also. And the title I like will be dark. Okay, what we need to do is to go here to our local variables and create a new one, call it blue mode. I've done it here, but you can do directly here, of course. So here in this blue mode, let's change this to black, white, black, white, black. And here, our background will be this blue. So now we have three color modes. If we go here to appearance and go to color modes, we have it already here, blue mode. So for example, let me duplicate this one, the appearance here, instead of dark mode, I want to be blue mode. So now if I start moving around with my main frame, you will get the updates. How cool is this? And that's it. Now you know how to create these color modes 
to different light dark modes using another kind of coloring and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this was very helpful for you tell me in the comments if you like this kind of videos and what other questions do you have so that i can create new more videos for you so next up watch my playlist with more figma tutorials thanks for watching and have a great day